Thank you, Tony. Our pinpoint weather team coverage continues tonight. Today, the snow proved to be too heavy for a Providence garage to handle. The structure collapsed on top of three parked cars inside the garage this morning. New at six tonight, we're talking to the owner of one of those vehicles. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace is there now, live in the capital city. Yeah, Mike and Shannon, there's about two and a half feet of this collapsed garage at around midnight last night. Clearly, the weight from that snow was too much for the roof to handle. Three cars are trapped underneath the collapsed roof of this garage in the east side of Providence, and one of them belongs to Bristol Marriott. It's just a big inconvenience to not have a car, and it might be very expensive, and I do really love my car. Marriott says she heard the loud noise. Ironically, she says it sounded like a snow plow. She knew it wasn't. Well, we didn't know what it was, and then we looked out the window and we saw that the whole garage had collapsed. This is also a site that concerns Providence Fire Chief Clarence Cuna, who worries the added weight from homeowners clearing snow may increase the risk of a roof collapsing. You have to have safety in mind, and safety in mind is it's not worth you going up on the roof to clear off the roof. Chief Cuna says options are limited. With a long extended reach with a scoop, that's acceptable. If you can get upstairs on your second floor and you can reach from the inside of your window and push the snow off, that's another way. Other than that, his best advice is to let Mother Nature do the melting. Damaged roofs and cars are a lot less valuable than the people who use them. It's just a car and luckily everyone's safe and that's the most important thing. Chief Cuna was actually referring to a roof rake, but he says only if you use it from the ground. He says you'd be hard pressed to get experts to clear the roofs under these kinds of conditions. As for Bristol Marriott, she says she's waiting to hear from the building inspector to see if it's safe to determine the extent of the damage to her car. Tough break for her. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.